Well, my camera went off with me, but I got it started again. There's a little buddy. Yeah, I should not have cut my, all my blanket flowers down. <laughs> I mean, I still got plenty. Look at that. And look at the butterflies all flying around. You might not be able to see the butterflies, but I've got pretty yellow butterflies flying around my Indian paint flowers, blanket flowers. And I got them all throughout here, my totes. Look at this, all around my totes back here. Isn't that pretty, y'all? See, I had to mow me a path through here. <laughs> I did have to mow a little bit in the yard to make it look like it had been mowed. But I got two or three different types of watermelon. I got Black Beauty. I've got Charleston Gray. Don't remember what the other one is. But I know I got Black Beauty. I got Charleston Gray. And that is too little to have blooms on it already. <laughs> That is, uh, that is a Charleston Gray right there. It's got the bloom on it. But see, I got these purple ones that come up, and I mowed, I think, all of them down except what's on the adjoining lot. But my seeds flew over there. These little purple ones. The yellow ones back there. More blanket flowers. I got flower seed coming up in there because it doesn't look like the rose bush is rooted. I'm going to leave the thing in there for a while longer because the bottom of it's still green. I don't know if it'll do anything or not. Maybe, maybe not. I broke down and turned my AC on last night. <laughs> I had to cool the house off a little bit. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> Almost dropped the camera. I got a fly that landed on me and bit me. It hurt. Those flies hurt. That's a pretty vine right there, some kind of oak vine. <laughs> Little buddies right here. I got the rose bush that's still alive in there, and I got sunflowers right along with blanket flowers, zinnias, and everything else that's coming up in there. Woo, that wind. Looks like that rose bush is gonna make it, and it's in the ground. It don't get too awfully hot and dry this summer. This mums are going to be pretty. And look at the mailbox. Here, we'll take you out there and show you. I didn't cut them all down. I left some. 
can see right there at my mailbox. And they'll spread, they'll drop seeds and spread across the yard some more. And I left some right there. And over there beside the carport. Those over beside the carport haven't bloomed yet. But they will. They're just before blooming. They got buds on them. See the buds? They'll be opening pretty soon. And these are struggling, but I'm hoping they'll make it. I was hoping we'd get some more rain today. These are about to cover up my roses, though. <laughs> All of those were some flower seed that I threw out. Sunflowers. And there's my aloe vera. You know, we broke, we separated the pots the other day. Oh, I can't put that in. We separated the pots the other day and divided it up. Yeah, we did, little buddy. And there's the one that was left in the big pot. I had to give it room because it was just... There was so many plants in one pot from the mother pot, I mean the mother plant, it was crowd, being crowded out. But see, I put Ace 55 tomato seed out in that pot. I've got Michigan Mexican mint there. And I've got Cherokee purple tomato seed planted there that I just did this morning. So I'm hoping they'll come up. And I did thin out the marigolds right there, and I probably need to pull out one or two more. And I think this is a zucchini. I'm not sure. Ain't that right, little buddy? Huh? Ain't that right? Perpetual spinach, my sunflowers. I got a tomato plant come up right there. It's a volunteer, but I'm leaving it. I clean my hummingbird feeders. Oh, and look at this. I got a little hummingbird house. Have y'all ever seen a hummingbird house? That is a little bitty hummingbird house. It's not even as big as the feeders. <laughs> I saw it, though, and I thought it was adorable. I had to have a hummingbird house. So there you go. We'll see if they use it. I don't know. It's probably too late in the season. But look at that. Those are, There's those creepy, creepy caterpillars that sting. Those are gross, y'all. Ugh. I don't even like to step on them. Yeah, I don't even like to step on them gross things. They hurt if they sting. And they don't sting just one time. Can I see your neck? Huh? It's healing up pretty good. There's my moonflowers. I got quite a few of them fixing to open.
And I think I've got uh, a mashed potato melon back there in one of the, one or two of the pots, and I've got another squash plant. I've got three pots, and I put some type of melon or squash in each one. That zucchini, I don't think it gets enough water. But the other stuff looks to be growing pretty good there. My bok choy, I need to harvest my bok choy. Make me a stir fry. It's trying to go to seed, y'all. Don't want it to go to seed. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. But that's about the best my bok choy's looked since I've been planting it. Look at that. Aren't those beautiful? They're not all opened yet, but that bunch has got a bunch open right there. That's pretty. And I've got a beautiful squash here. Look at that. That turned out really nice. And I got a couple more started here. I can't gather them now because I can't hold everything. But this is a yellow squash too. And it's starting to put out squash. The rose bushes are still growing. Look at that. And they were nothing but sticks when I put them in the ground. That one's doing real well. It, 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 that one we rooted last year, remember? And it survived through the winter months. My purple... And pink clematis are starting to bloom over here. And they're climbing right on up. Look at there. It's got over halfway up the trellis so far. The yellow uh, mandevella is blooming. Got an owl here, owl nightlight. But yeah, I think that it's going to do good. I'm going to try my best to keep them watered with compost tea to where they'll grow pretty this year. I've not seen any clematis that I didn't like yet. The pink, the purple, the lavender. All of them are pretty. But yeah, that mandevilla is really pretty. And I want to show you something. This is odd. This is a zucchini, y'all. But if you look down in here, it's got a sprout growing from the zucchini itself right there. I've never seen one that would sprout like that. Like it's going to grow a plant from the zucchini. That's kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that. Look at that. That is a plant right there coming from that zucchini. Got a Roma tomato there. And a lot of my um, rutabagas are not making it. I didn't think they were getting enough water, so I had to come out here and put pans under each pot. And it's helped a little, but they may be too far gone. 
my greens. My sunflowers, look at there. That was the volunteer sunflowers from last year. That one that was so pretty here. And I got my Egyptian walking onions below it. Look at there. My okra. Baby pool full of okra. And like I said, this has got to be one of the early D melons. It came up from a volunteer. I mean, it was a volunteer plant from seeds that were in the pot already. And it's blooming. It's starting to put out melons of some kind. I think the early do melons is what, really what I think they are. Let's see how nice those rutabaga plants look, opposed to a couple of the other ones. These down here are looking good. That one does not look good at all. But I got pepper plants finally coming up. I need to harvest some of these. Pepper plant there. Sunflowers. <laughs> and see, I've got all my wildflowers, my blanket flowers back in there behind my totes. Isn't that strange? Sunflower coming up in there with the potatoes. My tomato plants survived. I got two or three delicious tomatoes. Those came up from the slice of tomato that we planted. Got a sunflower. My greens, my walking stick kale. And that's kale as well. My, uh, forgot what these were <laughs> I think they were turnips the uh, name is washed off of the or faded off of the marker but there's tomato plants there that came up from the slice of tomato they're not looking too good but they're still alive I got a squash jalapeno and look at my big boys my hillbillies look at that that's full of blooms you'll have some tomatoes off of that one pretty soon let's see what that is that's a oh I can't see the state <laughs> Beef steak. That's a beef steak tomato right there. This is a hillbilly here, I think. And that's a hillbilly, I think. Or it may not be. It may be a beef steak. That's a better boy, or beef steak. Squash, pe hot pepper, another tomato plant. There's two tomato plants come up in there. My cucumbers, my sunflower with my, what did I say these were? <laughs> yellow beets is what those were. That's what it is. That's what this pot is. It's yellow beets. And I couldn't remember. <laughs> that squash. Look at my basil. I gotta pretty soon pull out some little basil plants. I don't want no more than a, maybe one or two in one pot. And see, I got two in this one already. Yellow squash. Ooh, that wind. Yellow squash, and it's putting out yellow squash in there. And see, my carrots are coming up. My arugula. My turnips. 
and there's my uh, carrots over here. can barely see them because they're little skinny plants coming up. And I don't know how long it takes this purple bell pepper to come up, but I know it does take pepper long, a long time to come up. And there's my peas. They're all going up the trellis, doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Look at that. <laughs> it's all ready to the top. That one's going up that cane pole. My walking stick kale. I had to put some dust on it this morning. I, there was some worms getting on there. Don't want it to eat up my plants. But of course, if it rains, it's going to rain, wash the dust off of it. My bush beans. <laughs> In here with my Brussels sprouts and my kale. I think the little blooms on bush beans are pretty. They're purple. Oh, look. <laughs> That's got little beans on it. Little bitty beans. They're too little to pick, though. But it won't be long. Be nice to pick some and put them in stir fries or something. But they're all blooming, so that means they're going to have peas on them. Or beans, not peas. My peppermint. My chives, and look at them. They've all got baby chive plants at the top that need to be broke off pretty soon. They're not quite mature enough yet. But each one of those little bulbs is an onion plant. My onion. My canary yellow melon. I don't know if it's going to do anything. <laughs> My tomato plants. That's a hillbilly. I wish the bugs would leave my plants alone. onions that's a red slicing tomato back there that came up from seed that we planted and I got a hillbilly back here a little one I got the tomato plants here that's a red that's all the tomatoes that come up from the slice of tomato we planted and look at the, the blanket flowers that lived in the cinder blocks I'm going to come back by and probably plant hot peppers or something in some of the pot, the little blocks the holes that don't have anything in it But see, I got probably 10 plants just from planting a slice of tomato. And I've got several there that I haven't pulled out. There's two there. And that came up from the seed from that uh, tomato that I planted. Purple clematis up there. We got the lavender there.
and I'm not sure how to harvest the seed from this. I know you got to let them dry. But see, after the flower dies, it does this. And it, you got to let it dry and then harvest the seed. But usually by the time I think to come out here and get seed, the seeds are blown off. Like that, I think the seeds are gone. Yeah, the seeds are already gone from there. Anyway, I've not been able to harvest any more seed from this particular plant. Not of the big one like that. The purple or lavender. Or... Yeah, the, the purple and the lavender put out a different seed than the blue and the pink that I got over on that arbor there. They actually have seeds. This has a different type of seed, a seed almost like a marigold or a zinnia. And see, I've got a little tomato there, that's a slicing tomato. And remember I moved my uh, raspberry bush over here so it could climb the trellis. Cause it was sprawled out all over the yard. <laughs> and I figured I'd just give it something to climb on. And there's another red slicing tomato. That was all from the slice that I put out. And that one back there too. And that little black pot. And see my potatoes, I'm gonna be digging these up pretty soon. You're supposed to wait till the stems completely die or the they turn really yellow looking. And these are still green, so I'm not pulling them yet. Jalapeno pepper and a sunflower. <laughs> Tomato. That's a better boy tomato there with a jalapeno. And see too, I don't know if this dying back because of the type of potato. These are the red potatoes. Or maybe they don't get enough sun over on this side. I don't know. But we'll see how they do. And if they don't do anything on here, I'm not going to plant any here on this side of the yard next year. I'll put them out in the sun. sunflower. Look at there. And this is a better boy tomato. My walking onions, my Egyptian walking onions. And I had gold metal tomato seed in that, but it don't look like it's coming up. My onions, my green onions, have sprouted up from seed. Marconi pepper. I tell you, the bugs like these Marconi peppers. And the Hungarian, look at there. I mean, I don't know what it is. I can't keep a plant alive. One Hungarian out of four different five different pots I'll just have to start some more it's a jalapeno purple walking kale another little creepy crawler ponderosa pink tomato let me get by him. I don't want to step on him so he'll sting my toes. Walking stick kale. Come up from seed. That's the ponderosa pink. I got two plants there. I hope they survive. That's Marconi pepper. That's a Marconi. A Marconi. So I do have a couple of them that survive. That's a Marconi back there. Woo! 
I planted a purple kale there, walking stick kale, but it's not come up. Marconi pepper. And there's tomato plants from that slice of tomato I put in there. I put two slices in, one on this side and one over here. I gotta plant something in that. Marconi pepper. And that's a ponderosa pink. But look, something is eating it. <laughs> that's a ponderosa pink that came up from seed, but something's been eating on it. So I don't have any hope for that. And I've been putting diametaceous earth out. I've been putting seven dust out. Just like that rutabaga don't like it there, so I'll plant something else there. And there's more slicing tomatoes that came up from the seed that I planted on that slice of tomato. That rutabaga looked like it might survive, and that one too, maybe. And I got a, I had red slicing tomato and hillbilly there. I've only got one left, and I don't know which one it is. <laughs> It's either a hillbilly or a red slicing tomato. I don't have anything in this pot yet. And my green lettuce is not doing good at all. Look at that. I just don't have very much luck with green lettuce. So I may end up just planting something else in there. My perpetual spinach, it looks good. Mandevella, and I gotta buy me another bag of uh, Epsom salt, so I'll have some to put to that this coming week. Cause see that, the last I put through there is not washed down in there yet. I put it in there thinking it was gonna rain and it hasn't rained enough to even wet the ground. And look at there, that pepper plant has blooms. So that means it's getting ready to put off some hot peppers. <laughs> Only the strongest will survive. <laughs> and they've kind of drooped down up there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's not gotten enough water, but the leaves look okay. We'll have to put some water to that today. Empty my dish pan in there. Coalis, it don't look too good, but maybe it'll make it. And then my rock garden out here, everything looking good. And little buddy. Well, folks, that's all I got for you today. So I'm going to let you go. I'll, me and little buddy, I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.